Let me show you what to do if you have some touchscreen issues on your Samsung Galaxy S25 and S25 Ultra. Maybe when you touch your phone it doesn't properly respond or it's very uh, like a sluggish or again maybe your screen is simply stuck in some weird position essentially so and again maybe it lags in some way so or also maybe you have like ghost touches it clicks itself somewhere so there are a few things we can do. Uh, first uh, verify that uh, your, your screen is actually like fairly decent clean so if you have a lot of smudges on the screen especially on some edges also if for example you use a case with this phone so I actually do not use a case I'm simply taking another case what also sometimes happens is near the edges if something gets stuck near the edges this also might sometimes confuse the screen so again uh, if you have a, like a case that actually like a bit covers basically the edge also it might actually confuse sometimes the screen so again take it out of your case essentially and make sure your screen is clean uh, so again i would suggest you to simply clean it i'm using ipa or again you can simply take a bit of alcohol and again like moisten it up and take a clean cloth essentially and rub it down so properly so this should fix, fix probably like 90 percent of the issues so again if you have a dirty screen simply that also might actually confuse the phone into thinking you are touching maybe in some way or again it doesn't properly registers then also if you are using some screen protectors with it that might be cracked so if you on your screen protector you maybe have like a tiny crack so this also sometimes confuse the, the screens on these phones so again verify that you actually do not have a cracked screen protector if you do have remove that and again clean your screen and uh, like put up uh, like a brand new screen protector also again uh, if you maybe have some very cheap uh, like screen protector like one of those like plastic not glass screen protectors if you maybe yeah somewhere have gotten it basically again sometimes phones actually also uh, get confused about that also what we can do is we can actually force a restart on this phone essentially as well if you do not see any like physical problems with the screen and your screen is clean and again there is nothing stuck on the edges so to do that we are simply going to press the power button and the volume down at the same time and keep holding essentially so ignore it uh, whatever it says essentially it takes like 10 seconds to actually essentially shut off and once it does release it so this process might take up to a minute so simply wait till it actually starts booting up so and again this can like uh, attempt to like uh, like figure out what's actually wrong with this phone and fix itself so heal itself essentially so once it like turns back on I also check if maybe this helped but again this might take up to a minute to actually start booting up so again be patient this is completely normal and then finally we can also go in the settings click device care over here click diagnostics and also we can literally ask this phone to do like a test of every component on this phone so it takes usually a few seconds to load so simply click this and essentially click test all uh, and again it will like essentially like check every component of your phone and see what's actually wrong with it so once it finishes also it will check properly your screen essentially and tell you if uh, essentially something is actually off with your phone and again uh, as you see one of the tests is touching so again you can run it kind of manually as well uh, so it in all involves essentially a few tests so also a few manual tests here as well so can simply check if like all the touchscreen actually works perfectly fine so again if you like this software actually detects as something off with your screen again if you still have warranty you can also guess a claim from samsung to repair your phone essentially anyway good luck